So, you've been on YouTube one year now and you're still not seeing results? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you 10 tips to grow your YouTube channel and get your first 100 subscribers. She's a Mona Lisa. Hey guys, it's Lexi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, for today's video, I'm going to be giving you 10 tips that will definitely increase your subscribers and get you 100 subscribers on YouTube. Nobody cares about you. Okay, <laughs> I'm being so honest, but literally nobody cares about you. So you have to make either informative or valuable content for them, for the viewers. Because say for example, I made a vlog and I called it Alexa Jones' travel vlog with family. No one's searching for that because they don't know you. Whereas a big YouTuber, people might search for that because they love the YouTuber and they got to know the YouTuber. But you have to give them valuable content because they're asking a question and you have to provide the answer to that question. Like in this video, I'm helping people grow on YouTube. So to summarize this topic, it basically means make valuable content that people are actually going to search for. Quality videos. So what I mean by this is you have to make your personality come across on camera because if you sit like this, Welcome back to my channel. Everyone's going to click off straight away because you're not making them excited and they're not making want to watch your YouTube channel and be like, wow, look at this person. So let your personality come through. Another part of quality videos is also like lighting and camera equipment and all of that stuff. Right now I'm filming with my iPad 7th generation and you can film with anything. You can film with your like on your laptop so you can film on your webcam you can film like in the beginning you can film on anything right now i'm just sitting in front of a window for lighting and then i'm filming on my ipad 7th generation and it's working perfectly fine like it's actually good quality so start with what you have and rather focus on how you come across on camera rather than what you're using Narrow your audience and find your niche. Your niche is basically when people come onto your channel, they see the exact videos that you are making. So for example, I make a cooking video, but then the next day I post a DIY video. And then the next day I post a vlog. And the next day I post what I eat in the day, for example. This is so confusing because your viewers don't know what to expect from you. And this is one of the biggest mistakes I made in the beginning of my channel is I made videos on absolutely everything. And I ended up targeting nobody because I wanted to target everybody, but I targeted nobody. So you kind of have to niche yourself down and find your audience. Do you make cooking videos? Do you make DIY videos? What videos do you make? So me personally, I make tech related videos. So when people come onto my channel, they see, oh, she's made what's on my iPhone, iPhone videos, app videos. I've recently niched down, so there aren't a lot of videos towards that topic yet. Um, but I also make informative videos like this one right now. So find your niche on your channel. Consistency is key. What I mean by this is if you go onto someone's channel and it is posted one year ago, you're less likely to subscribe because you know they're not going to be active. And so what's the point of wanting to subscribe if they're not going to be on YouTube? Like, consistency is key. Because when it says sub for sub, or let's follow each other, let's support each other, why am I not growing on YouTube? It's because you don't post and because people don't know that you're out there because you're not posting. And so people don't know that you're there. So consistency is key because you want to post at least once a week honestly i think once a month is ridiculous and you're not going to get anywhere so once a week or more i'm trying to post twice a week now but once a week is perfectly fine if you're really really busy but if you want to grow your channel try and keep it you know <laughs> try and keep it on time i'm going to try and post like on specific day on saturday in the weekend and i think the weekend is the best day to post because everyone's at home they're chilling they're relaxing and they say oh look alexa posted a new video and then they'll go check it out so honestly i think it's amazing to be consistent <laughs> The YouTube algorithm and SEO. This is one of the most important things that people don't understand at all. And basically it means you have to optimize your description box, put in keywords and tags. And what I mean by this is you have to look in your title and say I was making a video on apps during quarantine, okay? So I used, for example, 
apps was one of my keywords, comma, um, apps during quarantine, comma, apps to use when you're bored, comma, loads of keywords in my description. And that tells YouTube exactly what the video is about. If you don't do that, YouTube has no idea what your video is about and it will not get ranked in search. Search is basically when you type in a keyword and you say, what's on my phone? The top people that come up have linked their keywords and tags in their description, in their title, in their tags below, in their um, comment section, everywhere. Because if you don't, YouTube has no idea what your video is about and no idea to find you. Okay, thumbnails. Thumbnails are also extremely important, probably even more important than your actual video. And let me tell you, because when you click on YouTube, all you see is the thumbnail. So you don't see the video unless you get like a small description of the video. You don't actually see the video. So your thumbnail is what draws attention. And so spend at least an hour and a half on your thumbnail and make bold text and make it exciting and aesthetic. People want to click on it. Otherwise, no one's going to click on your video. You're not going to get views. You're not going to get subscribers. Honestly, there's going to be no traction to your channel. So focus on your thumbnails the most. Obviously, focus on your content. But without the thumbnail, there is no content. In the beginning, like I said, nobody knows you. So you have to promote your channel. So for example, I promoted my channel on my Instagram and my TikTok and, well, musically at the time. But I promoted it on those two. Rather, go follow my Instagram and my TikTok. But okay, enough self-promo. Go promote your channel. If you don't promote your channel, you won't get any views in the beginning or subscribers unless you really market your channel. But in the beginning, you want to tell your family or friends, ask them to subscribe. I remember doing this. Um, it was actually really funny because my granny is like, how do you subscribe? It was, it was really funny. Um, but promote your channel, okay? That's what you want to do in the beginning. If you don't, it's okay. You're just going to have to work a lot harder on working at YouTube and keeping consistent, like I said, and use all the tips that I gave you in this video. This is becoming a long video. Collaborations. Collaborations are a really important thing on YouTube. I've only done maybe two or three, um, but I do have an exciting collaboration coming up with this YouTuber. I'm so excited, but I'm not going to tell you guys about it now. It should be coming this Saturday. Well, I'm filming this Saturday, but it'll probably come like Monday. So yeah, but it's going to be super exciting and I do have a collaboration coming up. But try and make YouTube friends with the same amount of subscribers as you or maybe like a hundred more or something and you guys can support each other and help each other out. And I really enjoy looking at other small YouTubers just like myself and seeing, wow, their stuff is amazing. I love their thumbnails. I love their banner and their profile photo and it all just looks amazing. So collaborations are going to help you grow on YouTube and just be nice to people, like comment things on people's posts and, and then promise you 80% or like 95% they'll come back to your channel and they'll subscribe or check your stuff out. And the very last tip is to just have fun. And this sounds so lame. Believe me, I know it sounds so lame. But basically what I mean is you started YouTube because it's your passion, not because you want to make money from it. Well, at least I hope you didn't start it for that because it's a lot of work. YouTube being consistent, uploading, marketing, scheduling, YouTube videos, everything is so much work. But if you really love it, you will get somewhere. And I've seen massive growth in my channel that I'm so grateful for. And I know that you guys can do it too. And leave your YouTube channels down below because I will definitely subscribe and check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed and this gave you so many tips and good strategies to help you grow on YouTube. And let me just say, I started off with zero and I had no YouTube friends. I didn't know what I was doing. I learned as I... I I learned along the way and I think I've gained so many good tips to help you guys out. And if you want another video of YouTube growth, then please tell me down below or um, DM me on Instagram or something like that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. Bye guys.